Well, my name is Iris Gupta and I'm a senior product manager at Amazon. And these past few months, I had the pleasure of mentoring Jodi. Uh, Jodi is a seventh grader from Las Flores School, California. She likes to read, draw, and loves science. Jodi had a wonderful concept for her mentee project, which truly reflects her interest in STEM. Given Jodi's interest in both art and science, uh, we decided to focus learning some user experience design concepts in addition to block coding. Um, I'm really happy to see the progress Jodi has made during this mentorship and very excited for her to continue bringing her vision uh, to life even after this mentorship is over. With that, I would like to pass on the mic to Jodi. Thank you, Iris. Hi, everybody. My name is Judy. Let me introduce you to my mentor. Her name is Iris. She's a product manager at Amazon. She's from Seattle, but originally from India. Her favorite hobbies are reading, cooking, and skiing. Next slide, please. Let me talk about my project. The title of my project is Women in STEM. It is an app, a mobile app. I selected this project because I had read a book called Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls. My main goal was to spread awareness about women in STEM and let people learn about them and get inspired through my project. So far, we have successfully finished three accomplished women and watched a video about them. In the future, I wanted to include more accessibility and not just watching a video about them, but reading about them. I also wanted to make an app into an educational app, which was my main idea before constructing and building the app. Another future step of my project would be just to add more women and update the project into a more advanced app. Next. Some of the things I have learned from my magical experience is that I had I had advanced in my block coding, learned how to my learned how to manage my time. I also learned how to make more screens within the app, link URLs within the app to take to an external browser, learned some new functions such as layout, images, text features, designer, etc. One of the challenges are usually just learning and researching new things and getting through difficulties. Next, this was the beginning of our trip. I did some wireframing, practice tutorials. The wireframing shows my original idea. My original idea was to make a student and a teacher version, but realizing how much time it would take to build all the features, we decided to focus on building a version one of the app. Currently, the user's experience does not change by who the user is. In the future, I would like to build a separate user experience for teachers and students. Next, the top right was some of my coding I have built for the buttons. And at the bottom of the corner was the code for the homepage. And to my left is what the app would look like while building and progressing through the app. Next, here's a demo of like, that's how it would look like in the app. Next. And then here would be, the top would be how my coding would look like for the buttons. And then the bottom corner would be how it looked like for the home page. And then to the left would be how it looked like while progressing through the app. Here's a video of my demo. This is how the MIT App Inventors home screen looks like while building the app. Over Actually, let me start again. Will you, um, from the beginning, will you just talk over it, Judy, like we discussed? Yeah. This is how the video would look like, like on the homepage of the MIT App Inventor. And on to the right would be all the features and everything. And that's how it would look like on a phone while building. And then this would be the designer page. And then... This would be the block coding page where you'd build the code for each of the screens. And then up where it says home page and all of those, those would be where you'd press the screen to make like each code for each of the screens that you have. And then and then you can use it on a simulator where it shows you how like it looked like on a computer. That's what I was using to build my app.
Sorry, it takes a while to load. And then this would be my final product of how the app would look like. This is my three women. And then at the bottom would be the names. And at the top would be just a little introduction to my app. So you tap on one of the images. And that would take you to one of their screens. And then there's a back button, which would take you back to the home page. And then there is watch video, which takes you to an external browser where you watch a video about them. Thank you. Any questions? Great presentation, Jody. Good yes, talk, please take yourselves off of mute and I will open it up now for any questions or comments from our crowd. I have a question. I have a question for Jody. You go mm -hmm. ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead first. Okay. Well, I just wanted to say excellent job, Jody. That was really very cool. Thank um, you. I was just curious. Yeah. Uh, great job. I was curious. Is this your first time making an app for uh, making it a mobile app? Mm -hmm. And did you enjoy the process? Yeah. Wonderful. So, um, yeah, excellent job. Very well done. Thank you. My question, Judy, was I saw that you picked Grace Hopper and a few other women. How did you pick? I mean, obviously, there's so many great women, but um, those seem to be your personal favorites. And I was wondering if you could comment on that. And great job, by the way. Thank you. Um, I've just like read a couple like summaries about them and like books about them. And I decided those were like the most interesting and like the most related to STEM. And it showed how they went through a lot of hardships and like difficulties into getting um, what they wanted. Great follow up question. So as you read over, over the struggles, what's the one lesson you got out? personal for your own personal journey what is the one thing that you the top thing that you learned from their experiences I guess it's just like you can accomplish anything if you have the motivation to do it and without motivation or creative creativity to be able to make this things nothing would be here that's amazing thank you you're welcome thank you I have a question too. Uh, first of all, congratulations, Jody. That was very cool. I was wondering um, what was your favorite part of the app making process? And since you mentioned it was your first time, was there anything that surprised you as you went through the process? Something unexpected? I feel like my favorite part would be like actually testing out my app and how it looked like. And I feel like something that really surprised me is that there was block coding. I wasn't expecting to have block coding. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Any more questions? Yeah, I have a question. Uh, Jody, great job. <clears throat> have you, you taken any coding classes before, or is this just something you just decided? you wanted to do without having previous, you know, coding camps or things of that nature? I have done elementary coding. It was just like an after school program. It was all about block coding and how to make games. And I think that's it. I didn't actually take any other classes. Great job. Thank you. Absolutely. Like everyone else said here, phenomenal job. I'm also very impressed by your presentation skills, especially as a seventh grader. You should be very proud of yourself. Great job.